Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So I am out and about today and as you can see it's another gray day. We've had a million of them this winter but anyways I wish we had some sun. It would make it better for filming and it would put me in a happier mood but I got out of the house today to get my nails done and I'm sitting here and I thought that it would be fun to do a what's in my handbag video. I used to love watching them when you YouTube was new. A lot of ladies would do the what's in my purse video and I just really enjoyed seeing what other ladies carry in their purse. Not only did I get good ideas but I get to see like what kind of purse they liked and I also just I don't know I just really enjoyed them. So I thought I would do an old school what's in my purse video because I have not cleaned out my purse in a while. I have cleaned out my wallet. I've pulled out a lot of receipts and things like that recently because it was really it was at the point that I couldn't close it. So my wallet is pretty thinned out, but my purse is chuck full. So I'm going to share with you what's in my purse. So the bag I've been carrying around since my birthday in early December is this Kate Spade bag. I got it for my birthday and it is called, I think it's called the Eleanor Satchel. I did notice early in the week that this was on sale for like outlet prices, but it's not on the Kate Spade surprise sale, which are like outlet mall bags usually, or some boutique bags that end up on that sale. But this is on the Kate Spade website. It's a boutique bag, but it is on sale for like um, outlet prices right and now. And the reason it's on sale is because she released the same bag in her summer color, which is really pretty too. This is like, I guess her winter winter color and I don't mind. I'd carry this in the summer anyways because it has tan and I wear a lot of tan sandals and it's got black and I also wear a lot of black sandals so this would go well with my other accessories even in the summer months. So it's got a nice long adjustable cross body strap that is detachable and it does have a pocket in the front which is really nice. If you put your cell phone in it it will fit but if you have the large like Mac size cell phone like I do it'll stick out a couple of inches so I do use it for my cell phone but I have the large you know the max size cell phone um, it is coated canvas with leather trim it's got feet on the bottom and nice little handles here and I really like this bag I would say that it's about the size of a Louis Vuitton speedy 25 just to give you reference it might be slightly larger in length than that but I think it's a really good high quality bag and I think it's so cute. I really like it. It's got, oh, double zippers. I just opened them. There's one here and one here and you can either pull one all the way across or do what I do and zip them both at the same time and have them meet in the middle like so. And it does have like a little Kate Spade logo here and even though this is like her logo this flower I don't feel that that I don't I don't really like bags that say the name all over a bag like um I don't know I just don't really like that but this doesn't say Kate Spade all over it it just has the floral logo but I think it's really cute let's get into what is in my bag so inside you'll see that it's just like one big pocket in here and then it does have a side pocket that's really large here and then it's got another like zipper kind of pouch pocket inside and I really like the pattern on this um, and it's all coated canvas it's got a really nice zipper on it so you can use this like if you don't want to carry around a wallet you could use this as your wallet or as your cosmetics case or whatever you want to use it for I actually don't have anything in it but it's nice to have that nice secure pocket on the inside and if I wanted to lighten up my bag which this isn't a super heavy bag I would use that as my wallet because it's perfect for so that. In this side pocket right here, I have gift cards that I received for Christmas. So I have them all in here and I can go shopping and use those gift cards. So I have them with me. And then I also have this Atkins bar. These are like low carb bars. And um, this isn't my favorite flavor at all. This one kind of tricked me. It looks like a Snickers bar. 
because it has like nougat and caramel and nuts and chocolate. And these Etkin bars usually are pretty good. I have some favorites, but this one did not taste like a Snickers bar. It tastes like disappointment. And I think it's called the Caramel Nut Bar. It only has a couple of carbs. Anyway, it's really good to have a bar or something in case you get hangry if you're out and you haven't eaten and you're starting to feel a little grouchy. I like to have a bar like that. Even if I don't eat the whole thing, I'll just break off a piece. So there's that. That's all I have in this pocket. Nothing in the zipper pocket, like I told you, but I love that little pattern. It's so cute. Then I have my cosmetics pouch, and this should be exciting because I haven't cleaned this out in a while. And it's just like a nice pouch with a zipper on it. I think I got this on Amazon. It's got another, it's got like a lining that's really cute. So it's a good size to bring my makeup with me. And so I have, oh, I have a little pouch in here for earrings. Sometimes I take my earrings out. Um, especially if I'm like visiting my daughter or something and I spend the night, I'll put them in a little pouch like this at night. So I forgot to take these out. They have my little black earrings from Kate Spade. I showed these to you before. I've been using a lot of Kate Spade items lately. They're so cute. I have a little matching necklace, but I took these out and just put them in this little bag. So that's in here. I have a mask. And we don't really need to wear masks very much anymore, but I do have a loved one who's in the hospital and um, I'm, I've been visiting, so I wear a mask. So I've got that. I've got a Bath and Body Works hand lotion and I really like the scent. It's called Fall in Bloom and I haven't used a lot of it while I've been out and about. So it's probably gonna last me through the summer, even though it's a fall scent. It smells really good. I'm trying to think of what it smells like. It smells like, um, Oh, no, it smells like fall and bloom. It smells like flowers, but not like summery flowers. It does have sort of like a small, uh, a fall scent, and it's not super sweet. It's really nice, actually. It could be on sale right now because the, this is like from the fall, so you could check. And I also have one of my favorite mascaras, tubing mascara in a mini size, and this is the Calorie mascara and I really like this mascara a lot. I like the wand. The full size is just the same, just larger. And I really like the way it makes my lashes look. In fact, I do have this on today so, for the mini size. Oh, I have a lipstick that I really like. I also have my glasses in my purse and I'm gonna take those out right now because I have to read the name of the lipstick I have. So I have a lipstick from Makeup Forever and this is their Shine On formula in 132 and it's called Cheerful something cheerful something i still even can't read it with my glasses on the print is so small and this is what it looks like and i also have this same formula in a pinker shade but look how pretty that is it's just a kind of actually a really nice nude and it goes with basically any other look i'm wearing that day so i have this in my purse and the pink one i've been using a lot at home like when i put my makeup on and i use the pink one it's like the same tone but pink it's not super bright or anything but these are really really nice and look how cute the packaging is really nice i have a clinique blot powder and i use this during the day if i start to feel like i'm looking a little too shiny and um mac also makes a blot powder and they're really not like a setting powder even though they kind of are they're sort of very very light and it doesn't disturb the makeup you have on your face. It just kind of blots whatever you have on and sets everything without adding any kind of powdery finish. It just, it kind of works like one of those sheets that you use to blot. You know, sometimes those have like a little residue of something on them. It doesn't mess up the integrity of your makeup, but it just removes the shine. That's what this does. It's really nice. And there's a mirror in here too, so I can use that if I'm applying any mascara or lipstick or anything. I have a Lumify and I haven't opened this, but I have it in here and sometimes my eyes get a little bit red. So I have this in here just in case I feel like my eyes are looking really red when I'm out, then I can use this. It works really well. 
I've got my key fob in there too. I always have my key fob. My car is keyless like most cars are today. So as long as it's on my person or in my bag, I can start my car and unlock my car and all that. I have a hand sanitizer and this is also a fall scent. It's marshmallow pumpkin latte. It smells really good. I've used quite a bit of this. So this will be gone soon. And lastly, I have an NYX lingerie lip gloss. And this is just like a, a nice nudie shade and it adds a little bit of um, hydration to my lips. And that's all I have in my little makeup pouch. And then I have a big old bag of Purell wipes. I always have wipes with me. Um, just in case, ever since COVID, I've just carried them. They come in handy like after I'm eating lunch or something if I'm out and I can't wash my hands, which very seldom happens. But anyways, it's good to have them. Okay, next I have this little tiny mesh bag and this has like just essentials in it. And it's for like anyone in my family who might need them or myself. I have a container of Advil and I have a poopery. I have a scope. Lister, like a scope, not Listerine, that's another brand, a scope mouthwash. I have one of these dental picks. It's kind of like a little kind of brush on the go in case you have something caught in your teeth. I think those are really important to have. I'm always afraid to be out without them because my teeth are all, like there's no gaps at all and I do get things caught in my teeth all the time. I have a peach iced tea mix in case I want to turn my water into iced tea. Um, Oh, I have some melatonin. This is like sleep, sleep one or sleep three. It's like little that one, it's like three things in one. It's something like melatonin, lemon balm, or something else, chamomile. I don't know. All together in case I'm like staying over at one of my daughters or something and I can't sleep, then I have that. So I always have that in there. Um, I have a panty liner. And I've got two more. Well, I've got another toothpick and I've got two more like drink mixes to add to my water. I've gotta be honest, I don't like water. My kids all know this, my husband knows this. It's like a joke in our family that I hate water. <laughs> I don't really drink a lot of water unless it has something in it, like either a mix or like a mix to make it flavored. I can buy those caffeine free ones from um, Crystal Light or other brands. And um, if it has a lemon in it, I'll drink it. Or if it has, I don't know, I will drink water. Like my husband, if I'm drinking water, he'll say, you must be really thirsty. And that's basically how it is. And so that's like um, a bad, a bad thing. It's a habit, a bad habit. But I've never been a fan of water. So there's that. I blame my mom because when I was a kid, she let me drink Tang all the time or soda. So water to me always tastes yucky. Okay. I have a notebook and it has a pen and when I need to write down appointments or ideas or just things I need to remember or make you know, lists and such, it helps me to write them down rather than put them on my phone because if I actually physically write it down, I remember it. But if I type it into my notes on my phone or put it in my calendar on my phone, I'll forget. So I always have this and I write down my appointments and I need to have it. And it's also good because the loved one I have in the hospital, if I'm ever getting any information that's important for me to remember, I write it down so that way I can, you know, I can remember everything that was said. So it's important for me to have that. I always have a hair twist because my hair drives me crazy and I always end up pulling it back. I have an extra pair of reading glasses and this is my wallet, which I did just clean out. And this was also a gift at Christmas time. And this is from Coach. And I thought it was so cute. I have the exact same wallet that I got a few years back in like a summer pattern. And I love it. And I get so many compliments on it when I pull out my, my summertime wallet. And I love that wallet. And it's like a nice leather. Um, really nice. And it's got these little flowers on it. It's got a little zipper in the back for coins. Who carries coins anymore? Um, not me. Everything that I would need coins for is now made to be used with a debit card so that I haven't needed to carry any coins. I do have a few bills like 
cash bills that I carry. And I still have, um, oh, I always keep the tags to purses and wallets because I do sell my wallets and purses whenever I get a new one. So I always like to have the original tags so whoever buys it has all the information they need. So I always just keep them in the purse or wallet. And then um, it just has my card slots here. Um, it has more on this side. I, this is where it was loaded up with receipts and things and I could barely close it. I always keep my debit card in the front pocket for early, early easy access because that's what I use to pay for everything. And that's all I have in my wallet. I probably should have shared this when I, when it was a mess. So you could have seen the reality in a couple days, it will be a mess again. And now it's all empty. And you can see the pouch inside and it's not detachable. It's stitched in. It's really nice though. It's stitched in at the bottom too. So nothing can roll underneath it or behind it and get lost in your purse. And I really like that it has the zipper. Like I said, I'll show you how it is. I'm watching everybody get in and out of their cars to go shopping because I'm at the, the little mall near my house. Um, so that's how that looks. And like I said, I just don't really bother with it. I haven't since I got this purse, but it's not, I like that it's there. And then the pouch behind it is what I use. So everything fits very nicely inside. I don't need an organizer because this bag is fairly structured. So it is nice on the, like it doesn't get saggy on the bottom. It's a nice structured purse. And I also really like that it has the feet on the bottom, you know, so I can set it down. And now everything is shoved back inside in no particular order, but I've got all my stuff. And that is what is inside my Kate Spade satchel. I'll link everything important below. I guess the only important thing would be the bag. If I can find the wallet, the wallet, the lipstick. Did I show you anything else that you may have questions about? If I don't link it, you can ask me and I'll be happy to share with you where I got it. But. I hope you enjoyed this little voyeuristic view into what is in my purse and I will see you soon. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day.